Welcome to another amazing episode of Talking About Kayaks with Alex. Right here today, we got one of the most revolutionary tech in kayak history. We got an EPDL Plus model right here from Old Town. And today, I wanna unbox it, show you guys everything that comes with the boat. Something very important. The price of this kayak today is $5,999.99, but that includes everything. As you'll see, it includes a battery, lithium battery, it includes the charger, the cables, everything. You don't have to go and buy anything else. Everything is included in the price of the kayak. It's basically, you grab it and you go fishing. Oh, remember to charge the battery. Let's go ahead and unbox it. Let me show you everything that it brings. See that sign over there? That means there's a lithium battery inside this package. Warning, unwrap immediately. Do not leave kayak canoe in the rest of the in this packaging. I guess because it's gonna keep cooking and you don't want that. So this is how it looks before we start unwrapping it. Let's go at it. Boom! Something I like to do is to start cutting these end pieces completely. And I'm using an Old Town branded little cutter. We, we need something stronger. The little cutter I was using is not the right tool to unbox it, so I brought a knife. Ooh, it's been a while since we last unboxed a kayak. This is quite exciting, guys. Boom. Oh my God. This steel camo looks better in person and still wrap. Guys, just take a look to see how Old Town packages these kayaks. The rudder is here, has a little box to protect it. Yeah, one time I cut myself with this edge. So don't, don't go like this. Ouch, that was close. All right, so let's continue with the unboxing. Wow, that was cool. More cardboard here. I don't wanna be careful when I cut into this. Don't wanna cut into the kayak itself. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Sweet. Unboxing kayaks makes me happy. Even though this is a kayak that I already had a lot of time with on the water and it's not one of my favorite holds ever, but the intended purpose of this kayak is to be used in big open waters. And that's precisely what we're gonna put it through. Tomorrow morning, 4 a.m., I'm gonna wake up, 4.30. And I'm gonna drive myself all the way down to the Keys and we're gonna fish. One of the Keys are the closest to the Gulf. That is over seven miles away. If you go the right way, it's about 10 miles drive or kayak or boat ride. We're gonna attempt to do that in this kayak. We're gonna put it through all kinds of imaginable nature test challenges. And I wanna see if it's able to perform and go through all of that without breaking a sweat. I think that was the purpose of this kayak to enable you to fish waters that you normally wouldn't fish because you only rely on yourself. Here, we got the EPDL drive plus powered by an amazing amped outdoor lithium battery that should last over three hours of operation at maximum speeds. And even when you drain it, you still have your legs. And if your legs fail, you have your paddle. This is gonna be exciting. Let's go ahead and finish the unboxing because the sun is coming down. We only got like 30 minutes of daylight. It's gonna be a scratch tomorrow, guys. Like tomorrow, as soon as I put it on the water, it's gonna get scratched because it's plastic, it's a kayak, but at least I don't wanna scratch it with my knife right now. Oh, I was gonna say, are you guys ready for the sneak peek? And the thing just fell and on Bill the kayak on its glory. Oh well, you cannot win at all. Whoa. Nothing like the smell of new kayak. Look at this, guys. Let's just go down here. Ooh, 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 ooh. nice. We got the specs here. I'm gonna go over the specs and everything soon. Just wanna completely unbox it, remove all the plastic and 
put the seat where it belongs and show you the drive and show you everything. So let's put, let's put the knife here. Got a nice seat that goes on the sportsman line. It's a very comfortable seat. And um, if you don't want just to have your bare butt in here, you could put one of those kayak cushion. They do a good job. This seat right here also have storage underneath. Super cool. Let's put the seat over here. So when you remove these screws right here, those bolts, those bolts will go on these tracks to hold down the seat. We got these two bolts. Gonna go in there, those are brass inserts. And there's another one right there. Boom. Let's go and get the drive out. Boom. Oh, I thought I was gonna do it. Oh, I did it. <laughs> okay, guys. This is a 32 pound EPDL Plus drive. The amazing EPDL drive. And I'm calling it amazing because this is amazing technology. Because what it allows you to do is if you just wanna pedal without any power help whatsoever, you could do it. It's almost as fast as the normal drive. But if you need some help, you could put the pedal assist and then you're gonna be able to go probably 40 miles. I don't have the wrench yet and we're gonna be testing things out here, but you could go a long way because you could put the pedal assist on one or two and then just pedal yourself and you could easily go five miles an hour without breaking a sweat and without wasting a lot of energy. But if you don't want to do nothing because you're tired or you're taking a sip of water, you could just go. The EPDL alone on its own power, maximum speed about 4.7 miles an hour and just take a break because you had a hard time fishing or you caught a lot of fish and you just want to enjoy yourself, sit back and relax. You have all that. Look at this. Every single, can I take it up? Can I take it up? Can I take it up? Yeah, it's out. Yeah, it is out. So. I guess it's not out, out. <laughs> Let me cut it. <laughs> Every single sportsman line kayak has its own branded tackle box. And inside, you have all the things that you need to set your boat up. Certificate of origin if you need to register your kayak. You got your paddle holder, your knob for the steering. You got grease for your cabling. You got your kill switch and your pin for the prop. And you got your cabling to set this up. And this is part of the paddle keeper. We're gonna go ahead and set everything up right now. Know before you go. It's very important that you get yourself familiar with this craft before you go out there and you put it on the water because you simply don't wanna be having issues in the water just because you didn't read the manual. Oh my God, this thing is about 32 pounds. And it shows it's heavy, but remember, it's a motor built in there. There's a lot of research that went into this, a lot of testing, a lot of years and research and development. And let me tell you something, this thing is ready for prime time. I was lucky enough to get on this craft when it was like just gears and change and stuff like that, maybe four years ago in 2019. So I know uh, it went at least four years of research that went into this. All right, guys, so next we got the amazing Amped Outdoors lithium battery. It's right here inside this little box. Let's go ahead and unbox that and let's lift the rudder for later. Let's see what we got in here. Boom. Cable. Let me just take it out right here. This is a charging adapter. Sweet. And guys, look how big this battery is. You'll be surprised. Boom. <laughs> See what it says there? Amped Outdoors. This company is amazing. If you need any more batteries, I'm going to put a link down below that is going to take you to Amped Outdoors. Make sure to use coupon code ALIAS5 so you can save 5% and also support the channel amazing company i recommend amped outdoors all the time even the professionals use them
why not you? Wait, let me bring the battery back because you're probably thinking, Alex, I'm gonna need three more of those batteries. This is high tech, guys. This right here is 20 at hours, 36 volt lithium battery. Forgot exactly the science behind the lithium. But what it is, is basically, based on my own calculations, this is my estimates, let's put that out there, this will be worth like a 60 at hour, 12 volt battery. And a 60 at hour on a trolling motor could last for like, I would say close to 10 miles, maybe about eight miles maximum speeds. But if you manage that battery, it could last you for probably easily 15, 20, maybe 30 miles, depending where you're using it. Bear that in mind. Now, that motor over there, <laughs> that was designed to work with this battery from the beginning. So it has extra maximization. I killed the word, doesn't matter. But the point is, you have so much performance coming out of this combination that it's gonna last you for days and days. You're not gonna have to recharge this every after every single trip. It's gonna last you for many trips. Boom. I'm gonna have to go and clean this up soon. Something I like to do is to make sure that this thing has more, well, it's all the way in. But before every single trip, make sure that this thing is connected properly because you don't wanna lose that. So there's two ways that you could set this paddle clipper. You could put it that it clips down like that or you put it that it clips up can't remember what is the best way really <laughs> i put it the way that i didn't want but anyways it's done I, I wanted to put it the other way around so i don't like by accident hit here but now that i look at it it's totally fine here because you got this wall here it's not like other kayaks that this may be um, over here and you may accidentally open it. It's going to be difficult to open it from there, like by accident. The next thing I want to do is, of course, this, this, this. So you got the rotor control here and it has a little tensioning knob. There's a way to put this. The first thing you gotta do is put the tensioner first because otherwise you won't be able to put it after. Got this little screw already threaded with lock type or some sort of stuff like that. You just go in there, put it through and bring it home. Use your screwdriver to bring it home. Yeah, it's not there, it's not. <laughs> and then this plastic thing, it just clips in there, just push down and it's ready to go. Boom. The idea with this setup right here, simply, like, let's go ahead and deploy this rod. Watch how easy it is to deploy it. Boom! It's down there. I hear from some people, <coughs> you cyber kayaker. Hey guys, if you want to see some cool kayak videos, follow my friend Cyber Kayaker on YouTube. Anyways, he says that you need a bigger rotor, and I got just the thing. I'm going to show you what I got. With this thing, I think I brought this to down. The rotor turns amazingly. You see it back there? You see it back there? It's turning amazing. That's cool and all, but let's say you're fishing and you wanna keep going a certain direction and you wanna have your hands free. What do you do? You put a little bit of tension here and this thing is gonna be, well, you could bring it down to home if you want. You could bring it all the way down and it doesn't move at all. It's gonna keep that direction. You wanna have it less, rigid you just bring it up and guys don't worry about this piece like it's over time if you turn it you see it's gonna create a little thing on the plastic you could buy a replacement piece for this and replace it no problem i also wanted to give you a full walkthrough of this setup but that's gonna have to be done tomorrow on the water from the keys because i simply won't have time to do it here because sun is coming down but you're gonna enjoy it better from over there because of the scenery and everything. Okay, let's remove all the plastic and everything and finish the installation.
<laughs> oh. All right, guys, let's go ahead and install the battery cables. You know the drill. Black goes to red, and oh, no, I'm just kidding. Look at this, guys. It's a little fuse in there to protect the motor and the battery. Although, Amped Outdoors Lithium batteries are the best. You don't need fuses. I mean, that's my opinion, though. You know, just, just me talking, just saying. These batteries have impressive, I think it's called BM something, BMP or something like that, that manage uh, the current, the flows, and the charging, and the discharge, and all the stuff, and makes it really extremely safe for lithium batteries to be able to be used. Gonna go ahead and tie it up later. And this is the motor cable. It just plugs in here. You know what? Let's go ahead and put everything on. Battery goes in here. Boom. Voila. Let's go ahead and put in the motor and put in the cables. Something very important. I normally don't even take one second to put grease on anything, but since I'm gonna go out there tomorrow and it's gonna be a long trip, I don't want anything to go wrong, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it right now. This is the cable that's gonna go to the motor. I think Ryan says something about like, it, do it doesn't hurt to put a lot of grease on stuff. And uh, that's what we're doing here. Gonna go ahead and plug in the cable here boom so let's go ahead and bring the motor this is the shaft that's gonna hold the motor drive in place let's go ahead through that process and like bro it's dark already man it's dark already 32 pound guys 32 pounds and it shows it's heavy so when you get your old town and you're the one who needs to assemble it this is the shaft that will hold this motor in here and it got this marking that's gonna tell you exactly where you need to put it. You just fit it through here. You just fit it through there and once it gets there in the middle, you just tie these knobs right here to hold it in place. Boom, chakalaka. Uh, uh, don't fall on me, motor. Let's go ahead and plug it in, guys. Oh my God. This part here is so easy and Alias could do it. I don't think you should be traveling with a motor on your boat because first of all, you may lose this cable easy. And second, you don't want to risk damaging your boat or your motor because this is 32 pounds, bro. This could fall off the kayak easy. So, you know, just be careful. Boom, just goes there. Sweet, I wonder if we have power. We do need a kill switch for that. Ooh, I think we have enough clearance right here because look at this guys I didn't set up the wheels properly and I still need to work on this I just didn't have time yesterday but that boondocks kayak rigging car is epic I do have to say one thing though I think I like it better with the little coaster because you could go multiple ways like you could go like 360 this one is very difficult to turn sometimes but if you need to use it to carry your kayak to your truck may be it may be the best one but i think i want to have it with the coasters all right guys let's bring it down oh <laughs> i forgot to secure it oh my god what a rookie what a rookie forgot to secure the drive in the first place my goodness boom it just drops Wanna connect the kill switch, boom. And I wanna turn this on. <gasps> we got power. Press button to continue. The battery is fully charged, so we don't have to charge it. That's super cool. Battery consumption zero. I do wanna test it out right now to see if it's actually working. It is working. 
I have it in cruise control, man. Woohoo! Now let's kill it. Go in reverse. Bro, it killed it in a second. Guys, we have full battery. We don't have to charge it. This screen right here was made so you could read it with your sunglasses. You're gonna be able to see it. We just need to put that seat in here. That should take literally one second. When it comes to putting your seat on your Old Town kayak, all of them are different. The 120 and 106 PDL, you put the seat from the front, the autopilot just plugs in, and this one, you gotta put it from over here. So you got this thing here, just align it, lift it up a little bit, boom, okay. I went too far because I had to do the second one. You go over here, flip it over, kind of clicked over there. Make sure that this thing is has enough clearance right there, okay? This is what I was talking about with that. Don't want to start one too far and then you're not going to be able to set it up. There you go. Okay, now we're talking. Lift it. Yes. Yes. So, just going to put the seat probably in the middle. Tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and put it in the right place and start doing all my normal testing and all that stuff and give you the full walkthrough and let's go. Who am I kidding? I still have probably two hours of setting up. Luckily, it's still early. It's probably 7 o'clock, but it's dark. So let's go ahead and put this thing on the truck and everything because tomorrow is going to be an epic day. The full walkthrough video, Ali Style, is coming up now from the water. This is the brand new Old Town EPDL Plus Big Water. It's a crazy name. The name is huge. It's too, too many words. But what it is, is an EPDL Plus unit. You see it there? on the Big Water 132 PDL model, but they did some modifications. So I wanna walk you through everything that this boat has to offer today. You see it's already turning because the current is ripping. You see the current moving all over the place? <laughs> I'm gonna go and fight it right after I finish this walkthrough to see how it does with the current. Now, this boat, you probably know it, is the Big Water EPDL. It's been around for a long time. It does look amazing. It's like a beautiful boat. My beef with it is that it didn't have a lot of storage. For example, that black pack right there on the previous model, forget about it. You cannot put it on, but on this one, you can. 13 feet, 2 inches long boat. It is designed for big water. It's designed to cut through wave, designed to maintain speed, to be efficient on the water so you don't kill yourself. And that's why we came all the way from the mainland in the Keys to the last keys right here before they hit the gulf from the front right here we see a nice handle and oop i fell because <laughs> there are some areas where it's deeper and other areas not as deep anyways the handle here is nice because you could just grab it and go you could also tie it down on your truck it has a nice hash here i mean we complain a lot about this boat not having storage but we forget that you could throw in there like ten thousand different pounds of whatever you know so keep that in mind that you have a giant hatch that you could put a lot of stuff boat stop moving i'm trying to make a video here dang it i thought this was gonna be easier the tide is coming in and the current is crazy moving to the middle of the boat you have that really nice deck padding i really enjoy that it's really nice it's premium you have the apdl plus unit this unit is fast it's efficient i wish they would allow you to use different levels, different modes. Let's say you want to go really fast and you, you want this thing to really help you and you don't care about the battery because you're only going out six miles or something like that. You're not going, like you only need one hour operation. It would be cool if this thing would allow you to engage that faster mode. But it's super efficient with the amped outdoors lithium battery that is inside there. My God, I came here and I still have at least over 75% battery. It has four bars, it doesn't tell you exactly how much you have left, but 100 divided by four is 25. So 25% inch. So over here, you see those little cuts in there? Look how much things I put in there. That's amazing. A lot of space. What else you have there? These tracks. I put the mount here for the camera. I forgot to bring the raw holder, but that's where it will go. And inside here, you got all the cabling, everything is pre-wired. All you have to do is just plug it in with this cable and you're ready to go. Plug in that there and the battery underneath. I'm not going to take that out here, obvious reason. 
<laughs> Moving forward, you have a nice cup holder that you're able to take your Yeti. You have the handles here, forward facing rod holder. You don't have another one on the other side, but you could add more rod holder if you want. The seat is very comfortable. Below the seat, there's like a giant space. You could, I'm gonna get a tray so I could put all my, whatever lures I'm using, like a jump tray, I'm gonna put it down below. Especially because when you open this drive up, a lot of that thing, or whatever you have on the deck, may get out because there's a giant hole in there. So I'm gonna put that in there. The seat is only one sitting position. You sit high. This boat is wide, 36 inches wide, but it's not as stable as you would think because your sitting is really high. Look at that. Your level of gravity is super high, so just be careful with that. Here in the back, the battery is underneath. I have this cooler here. You have plenty of space. Rod, what are you doing, Rod? With the flag, you're just making a sound. Relax. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, let me put the rod here for so I could continue. Now, I didn't mention this here. You have nice place here that you could replace and it would be cool to put gear tracks in there so you could put camera mounts or put anything you wanna put in there. Moving back here, you got two flush mounted rod holders located in a nice position. I love having this because if I forget my black pack, I just have that built in. You got the rotor leveled to bring it up and down. It's super easy to use and it, it does the job. The tank wall was made bigger as you can see oops almost fell again that camera shut up okay fine as you can see this 16 by 16 black pack is the biggest one and it fits in there actually as a matter of fact i could probably move it forward maybe about six inches or so and put another one in here and i'm gonna test that when i get home i want to see if i'm able to put the smallest black pack and the big one and over here in the back you see it has the power pole, the shallow anchoring system right there. I just lapped it last night, like it was dark. It took me two minutes and now I have anchoring system. It's holding my boat right here with all this current, all this ripping current that we have here, which means this is the perfect time to fish, but I'm working, filming this video for you guys. When I got 1.13, I want to leave here at least around 2 p.m. Because I want to make sure I have plenty of time to make it back to shore if I had to paddle. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm a hate childless. Anyways, let's get going with this walkthrough. When I get out of here, when I get back home, I'm gonna show you how the bottom hole looks. And I'm also gonna show you inside the boat. I'm gonna take a camera through and show you what that looks like. But this is it, guys. This is, it's a proven hole. My beef with it is not as stable as you would think, number one. And number two, when you put a, such an amazing ground, ground, such an amazing groundbreaking technology, EPDL Plus, why do you put it on a model that is already there? Do a brand new model. Change it up more. I don't know, you 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 have some cool models. You could have made an amazing boat and slap that technology there, but it is what it is. We got what we got. They have their reasons. This boat is, is amazing, it's epic, and it's worth $6,000. I mean, it got me here, seven miles out. I was able to paddle when I needed to. I was able to use the drive. I didn't even, touch a battery and I was going at maximum speeds yes it's worth the six thousand dollars because it includes the battery and includes the drive and everything it is worth the six thousand dollars if you're gonna use it if you're gonna be fishing a lot of big water ocean fishing going the distance otherwise no well you pay more for you're just gonna go a mile out just use the regular PDL or maybe you have issues like physical issues and you need that well yeah totally it depends on you too so let me get out of here. I want to go over there and hit that spot and maybe catch a snook or two and then go home. 